Hi, welcome to this uh, Xmonad system. We are working on more stability of the polybar. And we think, we are trying to figure out, and we think that the fact that there are system icons up here are causing, are causing the, I don't know, 5% the time uh, that the polybar is gone. With a super shift R, everything is back again. So what I've been trying to do now is figure out what's the reason and why is it um, going away this polybar. We can always, like I said, super shift R, it's back. But reading more and more, it all points to these system icons. So we're going to get rid of the system icons for now. And what I've done, I've created just now, and that was that's, that's the topic of the tutorial, is how do you create modules for Polybar? So I've made a PAMAC module, which you, if you click on it, you get the PAMAC manager and you can in install your updates. If you, of course, uh, selected also the preferences, you will also update the AUR stuff. So yes and yes, and we'll see all the updates. That's one thing that I've created. Another thing is the possibility to just launch Discord. So that it's always there, it's available at a click and it's going to be staying there. I can activate it again, but it's not shutting down really. It's just closed, but I can just uh, open it again. The left is uh, left, so left click and right click. You can actually say to the polybar what it needs to do on that. So as you see, um, Discord is not uh, killed. So kill all Discord for now. No process found because Discord is with a capital. So it's completely other uh, system <laughs> application. So that's gone for sure. And now we have also the left button. Variety is uh, giving me a choice. I say, okay, let's take this one. Nah, maybe not. Let's take that one. And a simple way to set it and a right mouse click to go into the details. That's all created in a module. What we can't make is the original variety button where you click and we see this drop down coming up. That's something that's not possible. But we actually don't need anything because we have our shortcuts. Alt N is again a next wallpaper. Alt P is a previous one, etc. So they're all programmed in there. So how do you create a polybar module? Okay. Super shift return, you go to your polybar settings, you go to your config, open it up with something you like, sublime text, atom, genie, etc. Let's take atom. Always oh, nice to see atom, nice coloring. And then you go all the way down. We don't need this, so we can make it big. Control find, xmonad. What we're going to do and test for the coming weeks is if what happens if you say to the system, don't use the tray icons. So the icons up here or second screen uh, that are gone. These guys are gone and we'll test them out. What we've added as well is the font four, font awesome five brands in order to have a discord icon. Otherwise I can't have that nice icon up there. So a new line that's not in the general, um, well, the, the default config of today. And then all the way down are the modules. So you start by reading modules that are already present. As simple as that, that's exactly what I did. I just copy pasted something. The module is called Variety, it's a custom script, and it just says Echo Variety. So actually there is no script, there's nothing running, starting. There's no execution of any uh, application whatsoever. And if you don't like these texts and you just want to have a space, you can do that by switching these two lines around and you won't see anything. Just the icon, basically, because we need a space here. If you don't do a space, then there's no icon either. And these guys are all uh, coming from, from a copy paste. It's saying actually take the color from foreground, which is a variable up there. So this is basically a code like this. This little thing is something special, right? Variety, that's this thing. You probably recognize it, but this guy is actually that guy. You can't see it, of course. It's me joking. Just go to the URL. Let's go to it, Eric. Control O G maybe. 
and then you go to boop, 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 awesome cheat sheet. And what I did is just copy paste one of these nice guys over. And it is because of the fact that these elements like Trello and Discord control find Discord, Discord, another one. So this guy just control C it did. And if you do a control C and you copy paste it in here, it gets this nice looking icon. But basically it will work if you add the line up there to get the font awesome five. So that's the code that I got from the internet. And then I just go to variety. And then what was it again? Dash dash help. Uh, it was dash H. So I went to see what my possibilities could be. And that was the preferences, show the preferences and show the choices. Well, we see it here. What it is so selector which is this one so these two, these two guys have been activated right click left click that's it so that's one module down that's how we create modules by experimenting and yes you will make a polybar crash when you make uh, these things and testing it out and reloading it etc uh, it might help to launch polybar from 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 here so polybar launch sh open the terminal and just say launch this uh, polybar from here and see what happens and it gives us information this is okay because i have two monitors here if it gives you much more information then you say oh yeah line 65 is an error etc and then it will help you i hope and then we have the model for Discord. So the same thing here, just a text, echo text, interval one second, and some coloring that I've made. So the exact coloring from Discord, basically. Um, that's to put Discord to the back end, to the background. So launch Discord and be gone. Don't bother me because if we don't do this, uh, we can't click anywhere else. Everything is frozen up. Uh, so we need to put Discord to the background. So this is my copy paste for the Discord. This was another icon for variety image that I found somewhere. Control find image and another image and another. This is the one, I think this is the guy. I could change it with images. File image is probably this guy that I copy paste it over. So that's the fun stuff. <laughs> Looking for a nice icon. The rest is figuring out how to make these kind of things. This is difficult. So PAMAC, next one, PAMAC manager is um, the same goal, of course, same tactic as a better word. Is there a help? We start something with this and then I say, okay, we have some stuff here and PAMAC, oh yeah, so sorry, it's PAMAC manager. What I need was, um, Pamek for short and what stuff can we do? So I found found this Pamek check update. So oh, that's interesting because there are other already other scripts to find updates, but I wanted to do with Pamek. So if people say in the settings of Pamek, which is let's go to another screen, which is here. If you say in Pamek, look, take the preferences, and I want Pamek also to take the AUR and check for updates from AUR. So the number that's up here is going to be the complete desktop. My whole thing, Arch Linux, Arch Linux and AUR. That was the point to figure that out. So PAMAC check updates, I found that out. I said, okay, PAMAC check updates. And then you get something like this. Um, when I, when I was working on it, you need to have something, right? When I was working on it, I had two updates. So I got uh, the line, I got, um, I got three lines. I got, you've got two updates and then one, one update and another update. The thing was I had three lines when I did count me the lines. 
count me the lines. And you get four, right? He's correct. Your system is up to date, a Blanco, out of date, font manager. That's annoying because everything is actually up to date now, right? BKSYUA, everything is up to date. There's nothing to do, there's just something out of date. Hmm. So at that point in time, I did not have, have that issue, but I wanted to have the first line to be gone. So it should not count the first line. So I found out this kind of code behind it. So I Googled something like how not to count the first line, something like that, right? And then it's going to skip with this code the first line, which gives me, and let's put WC behind it. You see already what's happening. One line is gone and that's here. Your system is up to date. That line is gone. So if we count it now, it's gonna be three. Still, well, it was super at the time that I had updates because three became two and that was exactly the amount of updates that there were. But once everything is up to date, <laughs> then you get this line, this Blanco and then, well, this hidden line now, Blanco, out of date and font manager. So four lines. Then I figured out that we had this minus Q, which is, uh, what was it again, quiet or something? The Q has gone here. So, PAMAC minus H, or was it help? So check updates, check updates, and then minus H, quiet. So the Q for quiet. So that gives us the complete code, and that's how you figure these things out. Control C, Control Shift V. And that's how you try it out. Zero. Meaning, quiet was for, for me the solution that I don't want to see anything else. I do hope <laughs> when I have updates coming in that it will provide me with a number. Of course, it shouldn't stay zero. It should be, um, well, giving me a number when there are updates. But that's how you figure everything out. And the interval is around, I think this is a, um, in seconds, I think. Uh, so thousand seconds and then it's gonna check it again. And the label is going to be PAMAC. If so, if you want to change it to PAMAC, just save it and it's gonna be PAMAC, right? So that's just text. You do with text whatever you want. You don't need text if you don't want it. But the output is important, of course. This thing is going to be uh, this variable here. So zero at this point in time and the left click and the right click are both the same thing. Again, put it to the background so that um, it doesn't bother you so you can keep doing other things. This thing looks very strange, but you see it's a nice star. That's what it's supposed to be when it's um, launched. And that's how we make um, these uh, modules. So we're gonna test them out for a few days and see if it works and um, we'll get uh, the update soon. All right, so that's how you make modules. If you are, are now inclined to make another one and you want to share it, then uh, be my guest, of course. The more modules, the better. But I do try not to make more scripts. So I try to make one-liners, right? So everything is in here and not in an external script. So that's one of the goals and if it's, well, can't do it otherwise we'll do it in a script but it's nice to have everything in one place in just a one-liner as they call it all right enjoy making modules